From the 700 WLW Newsroom, here's Brian Combs. Big stories you're talking about on the big one today. Stock prices are rallying back. Dow today shot up about 200 points, getting back some of the losses from yesterday. The stock market rally comes at the same time the protesters have gathered in Westchester. More than 100 people today outside the office in Westchester of Congressman John Boehner. They say the Speaker of the House is too worried about politics in Washington, not worried enough about creating jobs in his home district. They say Boehner's district is one of the worst across the country for job losses. More than 30,000 already this year. See more about the protest by going to the local news section here at 700WLW.com. Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown in the Tri-State today. He has a new plan. Try and come up with funding for mega projects like replacing the Brent Spence Bridge. It's a project that would cost over a billion dollars. Put that new bridge on I-75 connecting Cincinnati and Covington. His idea is to form an infrastructure bank, a coalition of public and private interests to get these projects moving forward started sooner. Brown says he thinks he'll find support for it in Congress as it's not like other earmarks where the federal government's just spending money on these projects. Library cuts could be coming in Hamilton County. Public Library Board meets tonight. They're dealing with a $3 million shortfall in the budget for next year. They're hoping to be able to avoid layoffs or closing any suburban branches, but at this point they aren't quite sure how they are going to be able to accomplish that. number of school levies are headed for the ballot next fall in November. We'll be voting on issues for the Cincinnati Public Schools, Lakota, West Claremont, and Northwest. Those four districts deciding the last night put levies on the ballot. The Cincinnati Public School levy wouldn't fund operating expenses, but would go for technology, buy new textbooks and software, things like that. 700 WOW Reds update. The Reds now 10 games back in the NL Central. This after losing a slugfest to Colorado last night. A game interrupted by rain. Reds and Rockies again tonight. Airtime on the big one is 6-10. Hamilton Westside All-Stars are still alive. Trying to get back to the Little League World Series. So the path is going to be a little tougher now. Hamilton lost yesterday, but still had enough wins in regional play to qualify for the semifinals of the Great Lakes Regional. Hamilton plays tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock against Indiana. Indiana's undefeated. They're the top seed in the Midwest right now to advance to Bridgeport to play in the College World Series. Tomorrow's game is going to be live on ESPN2.